All right, so what we're going to do is a quick summary and walkthrough of our WM Pro dispenser. This dispenser has weights and measures components. We have a meter, and also we have uh, the electronics, as you can see in the unit. So this is what the WM Pro looks like. So typically for a customer, when they get this, walk around with me on the back. And this is already on a pallet, ready to go. But we have hardwired everything, electrically speaking, onto one cord. Uh, you can plug this in. You know, typically what we like to see is a dedicated power line to it. So you can cut this and hardwire the electrical cable right into the system and the whole thing should come alive. There shouldn't be an issue whatsoever. The other thing is we're gonna give you a one inch inlet. So that is a one inch NPT connection coming on here. So when you plumb it, you make sure you have a male one inch NPT threaded connection coming into the inlet. Now let's walk towards the front of the unit. But before we do that, let me get this thing back in place. Let me plug it in. Uh, just for test purposes, so you can see the front of the unit powering up. Follow me. So we can see the unit now is starting up. And the way that this is unit is gonna is gonna work in particular, it's gonna be a standalone unit. So you're gonna have an IBC tote or a small tank. So when you come over here and you lift the handle, you hear the pump. The pump is running. When you finish the nozzle back in place the last amount of gallons are going to remain on the screen so when the next transaction happens it's going to reset automatically and start the second set of gallons being dispensed you put it back and that's pretty much it so this is a quick run through on the WM Pro standalone unit for a very good and a very particular customer that we had I'm sure they're gonna be very happy with it okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the inside of the unit that you can get an idea of what this thing looks like on the inside. So basically, we've wired everything already, 100% uh, ready to go. If you want to take this, this off completely, go ahead and just you know take off the front panel and you know make sure all the connections are loose so you can get this panel out of here. But I wanted to show you is at the very bottom where the inlet is coming in, we got a uh, one inch ball valve. It's in its closed position right now. Make sure that you open that up before you start using the unit. So right now it's closed. We want to open it. Let me show you. You want to pull that in that direction. That shows it open. This shows it closed. So I'm going to leave it as closed as it is. We got our Hornet W85 pump on there, which in it's a contactor relay. And then we got a solenoid back there as well. So this thing is pretty much plug and play. There's nothing else to it. So we've done all the heavy lifting. We've done all the pre-wiring electrical. And you should be good to go. Let me put this panel back.